When zinc reacts with copper sulfate, they react to form copper and zinc sulfate. This is an example of a displacement reaction where zinc is more reactive than copper. So zinc displaces copper from its compound, forming zinc sulfate and copper. The balanced symbol equation for this chemical reaction is Zn, S for solid, reacts with CuSO4, Aq for aqueous, reacts to form Cu, S for solid, and Zn, SO4, Aq for aqueous. So here we have a beaker and we've placed a zinc in the beaker and have poured in the copper sulfate solution as well. I'm now going to use particle diagrams to explain how displacement reactions are redox reactions. In this particle diagram, these circles represent zinc atoms, so I'm writing Zn in every circle to represent how each circle represents a zinc atom. And here I'm writing Cu2 plus and SO4 2 minus to represent the copper and sulfate ions, which are free to move in the copper sulfate solution. So in this diagram, the circles in the zinc represent zinc atoms. And this represents a copper ion, and this represents a sulfate ion. Because this is a displacement reaction, where the more reactive element displaces the less reactive element. Zinc displaces the copper from the copper sulfate, forming zinc sulfate, where the zinc is now a zinc ion with a charge of two plus. And these circles in this particle diagram represent copper atoms, which has formed on the surface of the zinc. These circles represent copper atoms, which has formed on the surface of the zinc. And now in the solution, we have zinc ions and sulfate ions, as the solution is now zinc sulfate, which is colorless. We can see how the zinc atoms in the reactants have now become zinc ions in the products. And the copper ions in the reactants have become copper atoms in the products. So we can show what's happened in this chemical reaction using an ionic equation. The ionic equation is Zn, S for solid, plus Cu2 plus, Aq for aqueous, reacts to form Cu, S for solid, plus Zn2 plus, Aq for aqueous. Notice how the SO4 2 minus ion, the sulfate ion, has not been included, as it is a spectator ion. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now we can use half equations to show how the zinc and copper have been oxidized and reduced. The half equation for zinc is Zn reacts to form Zn2 plus plus E minus because the zinc has lost electrons. And we put a big two in front of the E minus to represent how two electrons have been lost for the zinc atom to form a zinc cation with a charge of two plus. The half equation for copper is Cu2 plus plus E minus reacts to form Cu. And we put a Big two in front of the E minus to represent how the copper ion with a charge of two plus has gained two electrons to become a copper atom. The half equation clearly shows how zinc has lost electrons. So we know zinc has been oxidized, as oxidation is the loss of electrons. And the half equation for copper shows how the copper cation has been reduced as the copper has gained electrons, and reduction is the gain of electrons. So because oxidation and reduction have taken place in the same chemical reaction, this is a redox reaction. So in summary, this is a displacement reaction because the zinc displaces the copper from the copper sulfate to form zinc sulfate. And this displacement reaction is a redox reaction because the zinc atom is oxidized and the copper cation is reduced. It's question time. 
Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.